Hello again. Welcome to part one of Bar Chords. Before we begin, I will tell you that when I started guitar and began to learn bar chords, I really didn't think I could do it. It was, it was so hard for me. I just could not make a first finger bar. It took me a long time. Thinking back on it, it might have taken me a week, two weeks, a month, two months. It probably took me three months or four months to even get to where I could just lay my hands on the guitar neck and play them. Maybe it wasn't. It was so long ago. But I remember thinking, oh, wow, if I have to play bar chords, I don't, I don't know if I can play guitar. I mean, I really thought about quitting guitar. That's how difficult it was for me to make bar chords. So we've given our fretting hand a bit of a much deserved and needed break. Now when we focus on the fretting hand, this may be difficult for some of you, depending on the type of guitar you're playing, depending on how thick your strings are or the gauge of strings. It can be very difficult to press all of these strings down. Even with a light gauge string, this is still something that was difficult. I learned on a, a guitar like this. I mean, I, I just didn't know that electric guitars were easier, generally speaking, easier to play than, than you know, classical or even acoustic guitars. Acoustic guitars with steel strings and heavier gauges, it can be difficult. Do not be discouraged. Keep with it, stay at it. You will need to give your first finger a rest. And when you do give it, when your first finger just gives up and says, I'm not doing this anymore, you can always go back to practicing 16th notes. Go ahead back, because that way you get to give your first finger. Give your hand a break. Be patient with yourself. This could take days. It may take a couple of weeks. It may. If you're one of the people that can just plop on a bar chord and make it, great, good for you, excellent. For the rest of us, for, for me, boy, that was hard. It was hard. It's very difficult, but we're going to take this in stages. We're going to take it in, in, in small steps and break it down and build it up and slowly build that strength in our hand. This, this bar chords were probably my single greatest challenge in guitar, physically, like learning. Yes, there are speed exercises and when we get into single note things and we learn how to solo, that's a different type of difficulty, but that was more patience. My fingers had the strength. Bar chords, this, this could have been the hardest or the most difficult thing for me to learn. That being said, I use bar chords all of the time. And once you begin to recognize them, you'll see other players out at shows or you know, live performances, you'll see them using bar chords a whole lot and power chords. But there are certain things that you'll see that are just the bedrock of playing guitar, regardless of style, regardless of genre, country, bluegrass, rock, jazz, it, it's everything, metal, it's all there. So certainly, in funk, can't forget about funk music. So all of that, now, there are so many styles of music that are just wonderful. So if I left any of them out, I do apologize. But let's, let's get to this bar chord. It's, it's, don't be discouraged. Please do not be discouraged. Try it and understand. Yes, I started us, I started us off with thuds. And hopefully we're saying, man, this guitar is easy. I didn't know how easy guitar would be. Well, here, for some of us, this could be that moment where things get tough. So, let's stick to it. And we've already given our first finger a workout with single notes. We've mapped out the string. That's great. Now what we're going to do, bar chords part one, is your first finger. We're going to not only lay it across all six strings, we're going to press them all down. Good luck. Hopefully, you. what will happen is, you. our goal is to press the first finger down across all six strings, just, just behind the fret, just like single note. Just behind that fret, that, that bar, okay? You're gonna make a first finger bar. This is your first finger. Put it across all strings. Let's try it at the, uh, I don't know. 
Oh, well, let's go with the fifth fret. One, two, three, four, five. You're probably way past that now. Fifth fret and bar it. Put that first finger, lay it across all six strings. Ready? Press it down. There you go. Our goal is to have all six of those strings ring out. Let's try it. Downstroke, starting at the sixth string. How did, how did it happen? Did, how did it go for you? I remember my first one was about like, it was about like that. It was, oh, it was beautiful. <laughs> Boy, was I discouraged. Let's try string by string. Press it down, you might have to wiggle your finger around. If, your finger, if you're used to your finger being up here, well, now we're gonna have to go back behind that neck a little bit. Find where you can add the appropriate pressure. Is it back here a little bit? Is it up here a little bit? You find the spot that works for you. There you go, press it down, give it a shot. And if you have a lot of thudding going on, it's understandable and it's okay. Hopefully you're not out there thinking, I just can't do this. It took me a while. I would, I would practice a first finger bar and try it and try it again and try it again. And then I would just walk away. I would walk away in our case or I would work on something else, but I just couldn't stop it. I had to get this bar chord because the songs I wanted to learn had this bar chord and I was determined to learn it. So this is where we're going to start. See what you have. How does it sound? Go through each individual string. Press that thing down. Try the sixth string. There they are, they're all there. Good, if you can do it, that's great. We're going to play Make It and Shake It over in the play section and we're going to try this. We're gonna to try to get good at it. Of course, we're going to move it up a few frets and down a few frets. Interestingly enough, it's just an E minor 11 chord, but now F minor 11, F sharp minor 11, G minor 11, G sharp minor 11, A minor 11. So that's how we get to now. You know where the root is. The root is on, under your first finger, right? There you go. Give it some time. If you need to take a break and just sit with your guitar and practice this a couple times, that's fine. It's understandable, it's great. Don't be, don't be too hard on yourself. Just keep at it and it will come around. It'll come around. So I'll meet you in the play section. I'll see you there.